So, yeah, um, I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to have a PowerPoint, but I'm going to jump a little bit between the PowerPoint and actual because it's so important to show you actually in principle what to do, that you understand how to create and where to create and X, Y, and Z. So, Rolo, can I share my screen? Is that <coughs> you welcome to go. The floor is yours, Corlia. I've pressed record. Um, I see you <coughs> have dropped off. Um, Marnu, I'm just going to mute you there. You're always welcome to unmute yourself. Uh, if you don't mind, there we go. Uh, Corlia, the floor is yours. Thank you, thank you. Uh, no. So, can you see my screen? <laughs> Yay, we can see it. Thanks. Okay. So, something that I'm just bringing up today is why do we use social media marketing? So, as you know, it's brand awareness, it's trust and it's credibility, it's traffic to fill the top of your sales funnels, and an online customer service and response is ex expected not a luxury. Why do I say it's not a luxury? For the simple reason is, and I saw it last night, I was browsing and Rolo asked the question, especially on your new agent that have joined, Heidi, there was another agent that said, ouch. And Rolo said, why ouch? Because that is the thing that you want. You want that interaction, but you want the positive interaction. So Rolo made the right decision by asking her, may I, I have a following, may I know why ouch? Where on the other hand, I said, welcome, I know you're going to make a huge success of it. So, and that is why I said response is expected and not a luxury. So, yes, why do I always say we don't like social media? But if we respond or we have somebody that manages our page on our behalf, they have to put on that cap 100%, go in that moment and be you. Because there's some things that I would say in my fashion that Rolo will say in a completely different way. And if I comment on something of him on his behalf and it doesn't sound like him, people automatically is going to know that it is not him. So if you have somebody that do your digital marketing or social media marketing, I want to say to you, spend some time with them, that they know you exactly they know what you like what you don't like how you present yourself things that you say that's things that you don't say um i'm going to put the example on the table there is an agent that i have just joined you heidi van skullpack so i've been working with heidi since she was <clears throat> before property tree with killer williams select but i have once a week at least a conversation with my client to know exactly what they need to so it comes down to the same business as you are in. In real estate, you can't sell something to a client if you don't know what they want. The same with social media. I need to know what is on my client's heart. What is their style? What are they presenting? And that is the thing. If you do it yourself, like I said, you have to respond. No matter what, even if it's a day after, two days after, even if it's just an emoji or a like, it doesn't mean you have to say something, but you have to respond. It's not a luxury. And then social media allows you to exercise some control over what people will find when they research you, your company product online. It's not just what, what's on your website, but also what all the other places that they look for your information and opinion. So, for instance, I have celebrities or clients that if you actually Google them, their Facebook pages come up and people want to know, is there that a credibility? And that is what we want. It's not about only the website. And then secondly, social is the new front door. It's where your customer learn, seek, discover and decide. So what do a mommy do? I'm a mommy of two kids. My youngest is eight when we were still a little bit younger. Five o'clock on a Saturday morning, I'm awake, I'm lying on the couch, he's watching Paw Patrol, and what am I doing? I'm on my phone on social media. What is people doing the first thing in the morning? Have you realized it? The first thing in the morning when they wake up, what do they grab? I grab my phone. 
Yeah, so my husband is still sleeping. Either I go to the bathroom and I get coffee, and then I'm in my bed and I browse. Either I read my WhatsApps or I go on social media because that's the first thing that we do. So I'm going to stand up now. I want to ask you something. Have you seen the Facebook sign is like this? I can't do it now, lucky because I'm in front. I'm I'm in front of a camera. But the the Facebook that is bended with the line replicates a person that is standing up front with their phone. And that's what Facebook is standing for. It's the face in the book, the face on the phone. So that is what people do. We all. Have you looked in society how many people is in that position constantly? They walk it, they talk it, they breathe it, they eat it. I check in there, I check in there, I go there, I do this. I'm here now, I'm here there, I'm celebrating this. People want to know about people. And society have stopped in such a way that people don't read newspapers anymore. Yes, they do. But where? Online. On Facebook. So that's why I want to say in-person website and last but not least, social. Social is your end all, be all, come all, go all. I'm going to run out of time today. I see that. So I just want to show you something small about social media and the social nomics. This was in 2021. Unfortunately, there's not one for 2022 years, but I want to see your if your business will still exist after five years in time. So, Rolo, can you just give me a thumbs up if you can hear the sound? No sound. Yes, sorry, Aquarium. Okay, so I'm going to skip this slide. It makes it easier because then I have to talk about it. So, how it says is digital has transformed us. So, we all say you have the expansion, you have the attention span of a goldfish. That is, people say eight seconds. In this time and age, they have shown that a goldfish expansion and attention span is now five seconds and a human being is three seconds. Why? Because of social media. Because three seconds, we go with that finger. That finger goes up and down. And that is the thing. And what does social consist of? Content. Storytelling is your greatest asset. What do people want to know? Okay. So those of you following me, Rolo knows, I've been last week, Thursday evening, I've been with celebrities. S Saturday, I had a concert. Sunday, I did this, 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 this. People know my story. Do they really know me? I don't think so, but they know my story and that's what they want to know. They want to see the happy things. That's why I always say content is king, context is queen. Your content is always king. What you put out there, you must know the whole of the world and their mother is going to see. I'm serious. If you don't want the whole of the world and their mother to see it, don't put it on Facebook. Because there is even people, my mom don't have Facebook, but I will share a link via Facebook, via WhatsApp to her. She will open it, although she doesn't have an account because she can watch a video. TikTok goes to Facebook. WhatsApp goes to Facebook. Instagram goes to Facebook. LinkedIn goes to Facebook. And something interesting, Facebook, LinkedIn business, and Instagram is being owned by the same company as well as WhatsApp. So that's why they integrate. So I always say, well, who's the four platforms that you have to be on? Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn business. Not LinkedIn, LinkedIn business. So you have to physically have a LinkedIn business page. Not your personal LinkedIn where you sell yourself and you put your CV on. Eh, eh, no, 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 no. You do the business one. The one where you advertise your business on. And Rolo, I think you don't have a LinkedIn business account. Nah, like it. 
So we have to. Uh, I'm guilty. Yeah, I'm going to interrupt and say, Corlea. It's like I said with my maps coach the other day. You have to choose which one you're going to focus on because to be able to do it all at once, pick it, get great at it, and then you move on. I mean, everybody that's on the call knows how Rolo's Facebook pivot page is working. You know, here and there, I, I get it right. Um, I am on LinkedIn, but not the business one. Business one. It's, it's like, pardon me, I've only learned 10 days ago that I can post on Facebook and it goes through to Instagram. <laughs> okay. So, Rolo, um, I think there's a, there's, a, there's a prize that needs to go to Rolo. Cordia needs to help Rolo. Yeah, no. <laughs> okay. And then community. So, I always say connect with your community. If you're in Hartis or you in Estel or in Clarkstorp or in Poch or wherever, your community is the most important. And there's so many community groups. Um, I had a question earlier before everybody was on. Why, why, why am I in the Facebook jail? It's because you share too much. You're only allowed to do 35 shares a day. So what do I do? I log in as myself share 35 times and then I go in as my page and I share 35 times because otherwise they put you into jail for 48 to 72 hours and it happens and the, with the community there's collaboration as well so why do I also suggest always is get your collaboration and your community partners if you have a local place where you sign your contracts for instance a coffee shop ask them can I advertise on my Facebook page on your behalf? And they would return the favor. Local electrician, local plumber. Because you want to be your area specialist at the end of the day. And you have, they have to know, you know what? If I want to know something, I'm going to ask Marnu. Marnu knows the ins, outs, be all, ends, all. Even the local mechanic because that makes the difference the local florist where you buy flowers for your people that moves in the first time get that collaboration with your community because you have to collaborate to get your following also better um you all work i i don't know if you work with multinet or with uber but speak to them and 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 have that on because you know what at the end of the day their followers can become your followers. And then consistency. Consistency is the most important thing. And now I know the first thing that you're all going to say to me is time. I know time is precious. I really know time is precious. But now I want to say when I was still a PC coach, I had a thing with my PC program that I said, can we please take a day? that you do lead generation and that lead generation is your face is your social media lead generation so what is the difference between creating sitting and doing legion like rollo said on the corner sitting with your stuff or getting together four of you four of you creating content each four months but you rotate that that content between each other because all of you are in different areas. Have you thought about that? So, one is in Kessel, so you can do it on a Zoom. One is in Kessel, one is in Hartis, one is in Durban, one is in Poch. You force it together. One take January, February, March, or April. Okay, so now we rotate. January goes to, to, to April, and April goes to Jan, February goes to March. And so at the end of the day, you four people creating four months of content that you can rotate between the four of you. Taking four hours, four hours in a month. You can do four Fridays, an hour each, but you share it. Because at the end of the day, if you have that consistency of content and you plan it ahead, you'll have it. 30, 60, 90, have you put it in your 30, 60, 90? Because we think, no, it's fine. Oh, it's just Facebook. It takes 18 months. I'm going to repeat myself. 18 months to get your brand out on social media. You will not get return on investment within the first 18 months. 
unless you're consistent. All right. So it's not about you. Have you seen the selfie thing? Everybody grabs the phone. It's all about me. No, 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 no. People want to hear about you, but what are you doing for others? So it's not about me. Not me, 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 myself and I. Never. Yes, it's me with other people. Me putting in the selling board at a house with a seller. Me handing over the keys with my purchaser and I'm placing it. I'm tagging them. And that is where you get the following. So I'm going to give a, an example. So last week, Thursday evening, I had an event. I had three celebrities. I posted and I tagged them. And I thanked them for coming to the event. That specific post reached, went viral, with 7,500 reaches within an hour. Because I thanked other people. I tagged other people. Yes, Facebook have become a little bit tricky now. A page can only tag individuals, and individuals can only tag a page. You Individuals can't take, tag individuals anymore because of the Poppy Act, because there's a setting on that. So you have to go in your settings and make your tagging available, because unless the pe per people don't approve the tag, it's not going to happen. So just like with all the other stuff, Poppy is into social media as well. Damn. Okay, but it's not about you. It's about the people with you. And what are you doing? Okay, so how does it work? You create a benchmark and determine business goals and which metrics to measure. Create a strategy, strategy and a content plan. I'm going to show you my content plan. It's very easy. I don't work very... I believe it must be easy and it must be accessible. And then share. Then share and promote your brand, content, and interact in real time online across networks where you will find your, your audience. So you have to make sure that your audience is 100% correct. And then connect. Look for opportunities online to engage with potential customers and to Build relationships online with others in your industry and grow your community. So you want that interaction and you want to connect. You want to share. But before all of that can happen, you have to create. And that is the most important part. And lastly, social media audit. Where to start? I keep the six honest serving men. They taught me all I knew. Their names are what why when how where and who always if that is in your content you can't go wrong what happened why did it happen when did it happen how did it happen where did it happen and with whom it's like i said to you i was at a function i had x y and z with me the reason for it was this and this and this. So you building that story around a situation. So yeah, it's not always easy to put that all in, but at least even if you're in the beginning, only have two of them or three of them or four of them or five of them and you grow like you're growing your business, you will grow into this. Then my four step plan, Audit, develop, engage, and measure. Assess your social media presence. Identify the gaps and set profiles. Identifying the gaps is very, very difficult because you will see now when I set up in a page exactly where is the gaps in your whole thing, your whole page. Have I missed this? Have I missed that? And Facebook will prompt you the whole time. You will see when you get onto your page, they will say to you, your profile has not been completed. Please follow step. So as soon as you follow the steps, the more steps you follow, the easier it's going to get. And then set your goals, select social networks. Like I said, Rolo said he's only working on Facebook and Instagram, but you're working on YouTube as well. You're sharing as well. So that is also a platform. Then some people say to me, TikTok, I'm going to be honest with you. 
TikTok is going viral, but not under the audience that I want to say is buying houses. Because it's a young, hip thing. I can be wrong. I'm, I'm honest. I've tried TikTok. It irritates the living hell out of me, maybe because I don't like it. But I'm honest. But there's clients of mine that wants TikTok. Then I do TikTok. You get in TikTok's jail as well because you use something that has copyright on. So, yeah, it's that is again TikTok. Orlia, sorry, I'm going to interrupt you there on the TikTok, and that's why I'm laughing. Um, uh, our agent Zandra is in Kuruman, Suri. So in Kuruman, TikTok is the thing. Um, um, so because everybody is on TikTok because of the environment and the yes. small town. Uh, listen, I she entertains me on these TikTok videos endlessly. So, um, and then again, TikTok, like you say, is not necessarily your market, no. but demographically in their area. It's exactly. Working. <laughs> so I have a client that is in Swazerienica. Okay. So Swazer is also very small, and yeah. she's selling dieting products. And she says to me, Korea, I'm working on TikTok. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 but it's working for it. So, Rona, it's like I said, if it works for you, go for it. Um, I get a little bit annoyed. Um, you can do it like once in a while, but yeah. And then engage, like I said, publish and share, and then identify your metrics. So, just something. What's business goals and what's social goals? Business goals is brand awareness. Your social is reaches. Business goals is thought leadership, socials are comments, inbound to links. Business again is word of mouth, social is shares and retweets. Then business goals is leads, on social you want to then to fill in forms, and on sales it's online purchases. So you want, we have you have to make sure that you ha know the, the difference between a business goal and a social goal. There is differences between it. And like I said, your social goals only get achieved. This get it achieved after 18 months. Proof shown not by me, by top individuals that have put in enormous amount of money on social media to go and sponsor ads and things like that. If your brand is not strong enough in 18 months, then you can close it and you can say to me, Kulia, I did not work. But after that, you haven't tried it or you have done something wrong. Then, where, what social platforms? So, Facebook is super for building long-term connections. Twitter is a quick spreading. I don't like Twitter. Twitter is politically orientated in my opinion. If you want to want to know what is in politics, you go on Twitter. So I always say take Twitter out of the equation. Then LinkedIn, like I said to you, LinkedIn business is phenomenal, especially if you have a niche market, like you are working in estates or things like that. LinkedIn business can help you because your higher individuals, your corporate individuals are on LinkedIn more often than they are on Facebook or Instagram. So you catch the business professionals on LinkedIn that have that high capital that wants to buy something. So niche is important there. YouTube is very fast and it's phenomenal. People love to watch videos these days. So go on with your YouTube if you're busy with that. And then Instagram is in that moment. Then I, something else, Google Plus. Um, Google Plus is very important to create your Google business account for your SEO to get your search, search engine optimization and make sure that your search, search engine optimization perspectives and words are 100% correct. So you as an individual, because you're a real estate agent, can go and create a Google Plus or Google business account for you. Just make sure that all the relevant information that you give is correct. Now, for instance, that's the only, I want to say, little tweak. If you create yourself a business, a Google business account, remember you're all under the brand KW Pivot. So please don't go utilize the address of KW Pivot's head office. You can't because it's already on Google. So 
For instance, Heidi from Domicili. I used Domicili powered by Keller Williams. I gave her Brit's address for her address, her telephone number, and that has been authenticated. Because KW Pivot is in Loeb Street, and that can't be everybody's address. The telephone number as well not, because it's a registered um, already on Google by Keller Williams. So please don't do that. That's just a little bit of a tip. Pinterest, especially in the real estate industry, I always say go open a board for you, especially if you are if you like to do photography or you do special things. Um, I know I had a real estate agent that actually had a whole Pinterest board that she put um, color coding and uh, home decor together and she shared it often, but that was her passion. So Pinterest is a very nice um, platform as well. And then TripAdvisor that I don't think you are into at this stage unless you have Airbnb. <laughs> so Facebook have 1.28 billion users. This stat was taken in 2021. I'm going to give you 222s. Then 65% is female and 35% is male. So unfortunately or fortunately, we know women is the most dominant on social media and they or tendency to make the decisions. Then Twitter, 62% female and 38% male. And LinkedIn is 39% female and 61% male. So in LinkedIn, the man, men has more influence. So let's go right. Pinterest is 80 million users. Instagram, 300 million. YouTube, 1 billion. And Foursquare has 45 million. Foursquare, I'm not also not a fan of. So, like I said, it depends brutally on you what you want to use. Then, how to improve? Every social profile must have a bio. So, you all have to write a bio for Keller Williams. So, use that bio. If you don't have a bio, um, I don't know if your MCA or your TL or whoever have a, a set bio, but I've done a few for agents as well that I give them an example and say, just go fill in the pieces because sometimes it makes it just that little bit easier. And then contact information. If you don't have your contact information, this is also not, your social profile is also not. Then a profile pic, a cover photo, high resolution, maximum fit and dimensions, and insert SEO descriptions of your business in your profile. What is SEO descriptions? It's physically what you do. But it must be so, you're not only looking for developers, you're not only looking for sellers, you're not looking for buyers, and you're looking for homeowners, you're looking for um, property developers. Um, uh, you can put property, residential, anything to do with property. You can even put in um, entrepreneurs, if you want to recruit um, uh, young, young, young couples, um, married couples, um, anything, families. Remember, real estate is such a huge open field. I want to say you can put the whole world and its mother there because anybody needs a house. So make sure your SEO is 100% friendly. And then, like I said, what, when, and by whom. That is most important. Pay to play, remarketing, and tools of the trade. You have to make sure that you're working on all, all the time. So with no further ado, I want to run over and I actually want to show you what to do. So can you still see my screen? No. Can you still see my screen? Um, no, you need to reshare. You okay, disappear. Gonna, okay, let me reshare. There we go. It's coming through. Yay! There we okay, are. Okay, so don't don't stress now. It's going to look very very intimidating because it's my Facebook page now. So just something that I that I say before. I'm going to get to content creation and how to create stuff. So I work on a different program that I'm going to show you. I just want to show you for interest sake. 
so this is my this is my program so if you can see i can literally schedule on everything facebook instagram twitter linkedin pinterest tumblr reddit vk youtube that is mine mine works with a tick of a button i put it in so mine but mine costs money money that you don't want to at this stage put out because you are you don't own it's not your profession this is my profession so firstly i'm going to start with the bare basics so i know we all you all know canva so what i would suggest so i've done um inays um I've, I've started with, with with some work on her so I've, I've put in i've created a template for her i've pulled in a picture but what i meant with consistency is also is where is your logo based because people want to see the same thing we are creatures of habit so if i put the logo in the right hand corner try to always put it in the right hand corner I don't think I'm going to go through the, the, the Keller Williams funds and um, procedures with you, but I know it's a 20, 80 or 70, 30. So 70% of the brand is you, 30% is Keller Williams. So make sure that you, if you, if you pull this thing in, in a hundred pieces, that you have the correct sizing. So to have it right, on canva and it is there if you literally type in i want to go into the home page of canva if you say create a design and you put in social it says social media if you take the social media the 1080 by 1080 pixels it is suitable for facebook instagram twitter youtube the whole kachap the sizing is 100% correct because they've made a generic social media sizing for you. If you want to make sure your, your profile pic is correct, they have done a nice profile pic, you go to the logo option. You go in, you type in logo, and it will make it. And if I'm correct, it's 500 by 500 pics that size is suitable for facebook whatsapp instagram your profile pic fits into that so no re and the nice okay but i'm on the pro version so i'm just saying i'm on the pro version of canvas so if i go in and i say resize as well i can type in there uh if I say Facebook, it comes up everything of Facebook that I want to change for me. So that makes it a little bit easier so it can be resized automatically. But if you don't have the pro version, just stick with 500 by 500 pixels. Then your agent Facebook cover, I usually have, use that. The size of that is 820 by 312 pixels. So, firstly, I'm going to create Inay's page, and then I'm going to show you how to schedule everything. So, for those of you who don't have a page, to create a Facebook page, you're going to go to the little dots on your Facebook, um, and you're going to go literally to page. Then I'm going to have to require to fill, complete some things, so I'm going to say Inay. Please. In category, I'm going to make a, a property. And as soon as I put in property, can you see all the, 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 the various options that comes in there? I'm going to make her not a real estate agent because she's actually a real estate company. If you look at the Keller Williams model, you are the business you are the brand so you're not a real estate you're a real estate company because you're powered by keller williams pivot am i right there we go description so i went in i put i got up I, I wrote a description earlier for her and i'm just going to physically paste 
specialize in the real estate industry, passionate about providing excellent service and communication. And then I'm going to say physically create page. And now the wheel is turning. Have you seen that wheel turning on Facebook? Okay, so now it's giving me an option to do a profile pic. I've already exported a profile pic, so I'm going to put that in. See, the sizing is 100% correct, like I've done it, and they asked me to add a, a banner. I've done her banner earlier. So it's also 100% correct, and I'm going to say save. So, with a Facebook page to make it visible for the people outside of, of your, yourself, you have to have 50 likes. I'm going to repeat it. 50 likes or 50 followers before the page are active. So, it's picking up my number. So, I'm going to say no at this stage because I'm not going to connect to WhatsApp. Right. So the next step that I want to do is establish page identity. I've done that. Provide info. Does it have a website? Yes, it does have a website. What have I done? I went into Inay's page online. I copy. I literally paste and it's there. So I've added the website. Now address. Inay, where are you based, if I may ask? You are muted. Belito area. Belito. So I'm going to say Belito. It's not picking up Belito. A street address. You are muted. Gorilla, sorry. I thought the area that you service is Belita Salt Rock. That's the Dolphin Coast. So, do you want the physical okay. address? Belito. Okay, let me put in Salt Rock. Salt Rock, South Africa. Do you have an area code for me? Double four two zero. Oh. So I've put in, so she doesn't need to put in a physical street address. She can just put in the area that she worked. So that is in as well. So at the hours, always open, permanently closed or selected hours. So I always believe that you do always open because if you put in certain hours, your page will not be active in those hours. So we do always open. Then add a phone number. So I know her phone number is there. I'm physically copying it and I'm pasting her number and her number has been added. Okay, link WhatsApp. I'm not going to link her WhatsApp now because I don't know if she has WhatsApp business on her phone. If she have, we can do it later, but we're going to add a button. So what do we want? We want people to make contact with her. So I'm going to do at this stage, send an email. So what I'm doing is I'm putting in those email address in there that they can know that's not an email address. Copy. I'm putting in an email address and I'm saving. So the only thing that we haven't done up to now is we haven't completed two steps. She hasn't invited friends and we haven't introduced or welcomed people to her page. But her page is set up, her banner is there, her phone, her pic is there. And all I can say is I did it in the correct format. It goes quicker because I've done it correctly. All right. So what can we do 
over and above this, we have to create a username. So remember, her name is Ine de Vries at KW Pivot. So all that I'm saying, and Rolo, shoot me for this if you want, I always say, you've made your page name Ine de Vries dash KW Pivot. But if you have a username, you can make it now in a different IDVKW pivot, or you can leave the KW pivot out because maybe for some or another reason, you're going to leave the company, you're going to go somewhere else that you know exactly what to do. So, so I'm going to say an idea here, KW pivot, and then I have to check if Facebook is allowing it. So you see the wheel is turning, the happy with it, we create the username. Right. You set. So now the page are set. I've put in send an email and an app. So to make it easier, and you will see here on the on your left hand side, there's a biz, meta business suite. So a lot of you, I don't know if you're familiar with Creator Studio. So there's Creator Studio, there's Meta Business Suite that you can utilize. I, for instance, at this stage, Meta is a very, very useful thing for me and Rolo, especially what you said earlier today by linking your Facebook and Instagram. So with Creator Studio or Meta Business, it's both not costing you money. So you can have, I just want to close some of these tabs that we don't have issues. And I, I'm still going to open an Instagram for you, but we will talk about that later. So with Meta Business, this I'm going to go in there. I'm just going to refresh because I want to see if Inez is there. Okay. So I'm going to go. Sorry, I'm for time. It's just I am working with quite. So there you will see Inez the, the freeze. Created the page, it's 100% there. You will see her Instagram is blanked out. You see there's no Instagram because we haven't connected an Instagram account. But if I go, and I'm going to take Heidi now, for instance. Okay. So Heidi has Facebook and she has Instagram. So what do I do? I go to create a post. Then physically, I'm going to click on the name, click both. So I have to confirm my access there. But if you click on both, literally, you tick both Facebook and Instagram. It will post to Facebook and Instagram automatically together. And what we're going to do, we're going to add a photo. So unfortunately, you're going to scroll through my photos now with me for, of all the content that I've created in the last week. But I just want to grab Heidi's, a post of Heidi here yeah, that I've done for her before. Oh, Heidi. There we go. Okay. Okay, so, Marnie, you've raised your hand. Uh, sorry, Corey, I just want to ask, my Facebook page doesn't yes. look anything like yours. Could I have an old version of Facebook or something? Yes. Is it? Okay, because okay. I'm looking for the buttons you have, and I don't have any of them. Okay, so what happened is Facebook ran an update last night. That's why Rola would not understand why I was in such a frantic I was in frantic last night because I have to give training and I must ex express this. It's the second time that I'm giving training for Keller Williams Market Center that Facebook decided to do an update. So if they've done an update, I'm going to show you now when I'm done. I just don't want time to catch us, but I have a few more minutes afterwards so I can show you that okay. I'm going to show you how it's changed. Okay, so thanks. then what this is looking for new stock, buying water, 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 water. So what do you want to do? So the most important thing is, and I'm going to repeat it, 34 hashtags. How many hashtags? 34. Now you're going to say to me, Korea, 
but I don't have a clue where I'm going to get it. Okay. There. This is a hashtag generator. I will put it in the, in the chat box for you as well. I'm putting it in for you. There we go. Okay. So what do you do? You go to search. This is lacquer. And you put in there real estate. And you say search. Ta-da! <laughs> and then what you do, you go copy. Literally copy. Then you go to your meta business and you say, are you ready to buy, sell, or rent out your property? No, no further contact me today. And then you I, I went and I pasted in those those hashtags. But on top of that, I'm going to go and I'm not going to put Heidi's in now. I'm going to put Una's in there. You go copy your website. And you put it in there. So firstly, you, have, you can add a button here to this to say, that they must WhatsApp phone email you, but you're also putting your website in there and you're putting your hashtags. So what are you doing? You're driving traffic, Facebook, Instagram, website at once with one, but you have your relative hashtag. So anybody that I've put in this, and if you go to the hashtag originator that I've, se that I've sent you now, it says your top 10 real estate hashtags. It gives you. Real estate is 46%. Realtor is 12%. If you want to go down, they can say you, tell you exactly how many Instagram posts have been on that tags in the last year. But we don't want to. Okay, now you're going to say to me, but Cordelia, it takes time to create those posts or that, that visuals that you've done for Heidi, for instance. Yes, it does take time, but I want to finish first. So what you can do is you can publish now, you can schedule, or you can save it as a draft. So what do I do? I schedule it. So they say to me, the optimum time, you see there, there's the time now. I, my, I can schedule for 9.15, but if I go click on optimal time, Facebook do the analytics for me. They say to me, Heidi's post, post, page are more, most active, six o'clock tonight, tomorrow at six o'clock, or Monday at six o'clock. So they're actually giving you your analytics without asking for it. But we don't want to press the button. I'm so scared I'm going to break this thing. Okay, so over and above that, if you don't want to go on optimal times and you want to do it at your time, you can publish it physically now, or you can schedule it. If you want to schedule it, you click on the date, you put in the date, you put in the time, you save, and you schedule. And if you scheduled it, I'm going to schedule it because I'm going to go, I will go and delete it. As soon as I've scheduled it, it physically, I oh know, you know me, cancel. Okay, as soon as I've scheduled it, it shows the calendar for me, the planner. So in your meta business, you have your home, you have your notifications, your inbox, your post, your comments, your planner. You can plan here. I can do a month view as well if I want. There's the whole month of Ivy stuff that is going off. Why did I do it? Because I want to save time. And if you want to physically delete it, you just delete it. You, you go in and you delete it. It's not a, if you want to change your mind, you just go and delete it. It's not an issue. But, and that's something I want to show you as well now. Because you're working on meta business, you see there's an option that says see more groups. That's all the groups that Heidi is connected to. 
So, with Meta, you can post to three groups immediately. Kabam. So you post Facebook, Instagram, and you can post to groups as well at the same time. And you can schedule it, pre-schedule it. Have I taught you something? <laughs> okay, then something else that I want to show to you, and this is quite important. You will always say people go on about specific days, that um, there is certain days like, for instance, today, I think, I don't know what is the day, but there is for every single day in the 365 days in the world, there is a day. So, for instance, today is give something away day. And that's the hashtag for today. So, I'm also going to put this in the chat box. This is something that you Google. So, if you want to be trending on social media, give something away day is today. Sunday is World Emoji Day. Monday is Nelson Mandela Day. Next week, Wednesday is International Chess Day. Then on the 21st, and this is a very nice one, and that's why I opened it up, is Get to Know Your Customer Day. Why do you want to get to know your customer? It's that opportunity that you have to ask your customer a certain question. Get to know your customer. You can even tag that customer that you know that had a very good experience with you and ask them to give you a testimonial on social media by tagging them. So not all of this are, like people will still say to me, you know, World Emoji Day, really? Ugh. Then I will say, okay, you know what? It's just there. Utilize it if you want. You don't have to. But you will see people do World Chocolate Day and they do uh, Talk in the Elevator Day and World Against Trafficking in Person, International Day of Friendship. National and Coloring Book Day. There is so many. International Beer Day. They, th that is things. And you will know the area that you work in, how to resonate with that and how to get further with that. So, Marni, you had a question. Um, okay. So, just to show you, Facebook have changed. So, there, some of you will see to, after last night that you can't go into normally we would oh that was something else that i want to share, share it with you so i'm quickly gonna um luckily um Rola will forgive me for this so the other thing that i say is i love property 24. don't over indulge and over give information to your clients on properties that you want to sell you have to educate your people so how do you work? On a Monday, anything that starts with an M. Motivational Monday, Mindful Monday, Madness Monday, anything with an M that, that, that works. Tuesdays can be a tip, it can be a treat, it can be tasty, you can even share a recipe. Wednesdays can be wisdom, wealth, um, whatever. What literally Thursday can be tacky Thursday, thoughtful Thursday, trending Thursday, feature Friday, uh, Friday's Friday, um, um, Saturday is spotlight Saturday or, or spectacular Saturday. Sunday can I always do a Sunday, a spotlight Sunday, especially when you do a show house. That is also important. But what I want to say with your tips and your wisdom and things like that, go to your property 24. They have wonderful articles, and that doesn't make you have to utilize to use content every day. So maybe you create content for a Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and a Tuesday and a Thursday, you utilize your Property 24 or your private property. But use um, legitimate sites. But what's nice about Property 24's Facebook pages, they actually give you the, the write-up, they give you the bitly, the shorter version of the of the link and they give you some hashtags to, so you don't have to go and search for that so this is making your life a little bit easier because they're giving it all to you and remember i always say competition is good competition somebody said to me one day yeah, but Kuda, they, they they refer to Seif and um 
and Lou Geffen and what, 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 what. So what? So what? Really, so what? It was somebody's opinion. It's not to say that now they have to go and buy a house from, from Lou Geffen. So if it's CTM and it's Tal Africa, it depends on which brand you like or where you get the relationship and the service. It's information that you share with your client. So you're giving your client knowledge. And you can go and have a look. Sue Con, she is phenomenal with this. She takes this and she actually posts this article, but she personalizes it. But it's your choice. If you, you can take that photo off there and save it and put it in a post with your little frame around. It's, it's, it's up to, it's literally up to you. So better business is really phenomenal. So Marie, what you've asked, Facebook have changed. So for instance, if you go into your profile, you will see that they say see all profiles and your page will most probably be there. That's all That's all the page, some of the pages that I manage. So Facebook have changed last night. It has through around, over the, the kids cot with the toys. It's not lacquer. So you, then you physically, if I click on, I'm going to do Michelle Kraus now, it's going to show to me that I'm, it says to me view page there at the bottom. And then I see her page, but I'm, I'm fully into Michelle Kraus now. I'm not even, not currently I'm managing Michelle Kraus, I'm Michelle Kraus now. So that is the thing. Facebook have changed and it has strewn. I have had... Yesterday, my phone didn't stop ringing because of that. If you're still on the old settings, I'm going to show you now how to get your page as well. So you're going to go to home. And here on the side is pages. And there it will load all the pages that you're working with. That is still the old setting. So if your page haven't converted yet to the new one, you will get them there. Something else that you could have done is you can put a shortcut there and you can say edit and then you can literally pin your page to your shortcuts. Okay, any other questions that I can help with? Yes, Kaya. You are muted. Morning. Morning. Morning, everyone. Rolo, thank you for the invite. This is very insightful. I just wanted to check. I've got a Facebook page, but I'm not sure if it's 100%. Well, it's not 100% after watching this um, <laughs> video or this presentation. But my question is that with that uh, WhatsApp button that people click yes. on your adverts and yes. how do you get it to feed to? To, to okay, so you have to have WhatsApp business, and if you have WhatsApp business, then when you have the when it prompts you with WhatsApp, you put in your number, then you send from Facebook a code, you will get it on your WhatsApp, and then you put in the code, and then your WhatsApp is connected to your Facebook. Okay, all right, because that that process is done, but still. I don't do you have do you have WhatsApp on your phone? Yes, What's I business have, on I your phone? Business, yes. Okay, so go, just go de-link the, the the number and re-link it again. Link. What must I do? De-link the number. Go into your settings. Go. Then it says integrated settings. There will be Instagram, WhatsApp, and then you just go unlink your account and re-link it again. Let me just write it down. Let's do it later. Delink it, me. Kaya, I'm going to put my number in the chat box. Right. If you um, battle, just WhatsApp me. Okay. Thank you very much for that. Pleasure. All right. Thank you very much. Pleasure. Anybody else with a question? Inai. Good evening. Pardon if I sound like a layman. I am a layman. Oh. But so this is a business page yes right so is there a difference can one only function on a business page or is it necessary also to have an ordinary facebook 
you have to have an ordinary Facebook to go into your business page. So a lot of people don't actually even connect on the ordinary Facebook, but they have that. Unfortunately, you have to have that to go into your business page. Oh, thank, you. thank you. Anybody else? Corlea, it's been an amazing morning. I cannot thank you enough. Uh, oh, there's another voice. Sorry. No, it, it was my husband that walked out. Uh, okay. Kay, you're welcome to speak. I see you've raised your hand. Yes, I just want to check. Um, does uh, Corlea offer services to, to other agents outside? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's what she does, Kay. That's what she does. She's a social media specialist. No, awesome. Uh, I've got her number. <laughs> <laughs> you see, Corlea, that's how we get clients if we have them as guests on the call. That's what business and relationships are all about. That's true. That's true. Okay, she's managing a lot of agents, uh, social media. She that's why she's on the call. She's a specialist. You're welcome to connect with her and go and have a look at her website, social in a box. Thanks, Kay, yes, but we will be in contact in case I do that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, my darling. It's been an amazing thing. What I learned this morning was that hashtag because I didn't know how to do that. I like that one. Um, what I also liked was the, um, the audit for the content. You know, I sit and I type these things and I'm thinking, Rala, but what are the words? What now it's given me something to, to tick from and to work from and to do the audits to get that. What I also liked is because I use the planner, but where it gives me the optimal dates, I didn't know what those were for. And I thought by myself, why do you want to think for me? Because I know my agents or people are 11 o'clock. But it looks at your traffic. It looks yes. physically at your traffic. Um, and then um, the one is, I see there's already things like LinkedIn business. Please, can we have that training? So, Marnu, I, that's our next step. Every <laughs> time when we have Corlea Carl, uh, on the call, there's something else. Like the YouTube. I mean, I'm only getting now on top of YouTube. So, watch this space. We've got more social media training happening. But we thank you for... Our, Thank you for the opportunity. It's it's like I said, it's so much to push into an hour. And um, it's all, also, um, there's some questions. If you have questions afterwards, please um, just drop me a message and I will gladly answer it. Um, I know it's sometimes very overwhelming to hear all of this and then go further and then don't know what to do. You've been a star. Thank you, everybody, for being on the call. I know we're going to have change in the businesses because it's really Facebook is a lead generating machine if you leverage it. I wish you all well. Watch out for the next training. And danke, Corlea. Danke, danke. Safe, be Good well. night. We will be in contact and I will chat to you. Awesome. Thanks, Thanks guys. Okay. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye.